All right, so let's talk about CMM clamping, um, some do's and don'ts and reasons why. Um, it all comes down to, uh, in inspection mode, you're pushing this little ruby tip against the part, which does not take much. Um, in machining, the, the word I constantly use in machining when you have any issues is rigidity. Um, if you got chatter, it, you can usually trace it back to rigidity or lack of. In woodworking, you can pretty much use run two by fours through saws, table saws by hand. In machining, it's similar processes, but you've got to make sure everything is locked down because your cutting forces are a lot more. In CMM, you don't have cutting forces. You basically just have to push that little bitty probe into a part. So let's show some examples here. So on these, if we, I don't have any of this stuff clamped. So if I've come down here, put it in measure mode, run it in, it's a very light pressure that it takes to trigger that hit. And this part does not weigh a lot. We go to the big part, naturally, you don't need a clamp because it, it weighs a lot. Oops, then put it in measure mode. Okay, so it's not going to. This part back here is fairly light. Let's see what happens here. So I'll put it in measure mode. Gotta go straight into it. I don't see where it's moving, even though it's pretty light. This would be a case that um, maybe I ought to clamp it, maybe not. Uh, right, let's try it on the end. Okay, it didn't. Now this part is very, very light. I didn't actually weigh it. But let's see what happens here. Let's just say I want to touch somewhere on here. Put it in measure mode. Let's just say I want to make, create a line right on this surface. So it's not triggering the probe. So in this case, I would need to clamp this down. Now, if I was only doing Z measurements into it, Possibly not. The whole trick of this thing is you don't want to clamp if you don't have to. And we're going to show some pros and cons in just a second. So pros and cons of clamping. The pro is the part doesn't move. Naturally, that's what you don't want to happen. You don't want it to move. Now, if you're running and it's got like 25 features you're checking, and that part moves once, you've got to restart all over because from then on you've lost your alignment, you've lost your origin, you've lost your relations. So you, you definitely don't want it to move. The cons is you gotta avoid clamps. You, if you're writing a program, you've got to learn, you got to program to jump over clamps. And depending on how much you, you, you clamp it, you don't want to induce stress on the part, which is highly unlikely because it takes a little clamping force we'll show in a second and if you're doing a high volume inspection like you've got to inspect 200 parts real quick every time you've got to unclamp and clamp it adds time in your high volume inspection all right so here's a couple different style clamps you got your traditional um, toe clamp strap clamps like uh, we've got a kit here that does that and you can use traditional type clamps like this. We've also got a, a grid table that it typically doesn't come. Um, it's an aftermarket, but even without it, you've got the holes in the granite where you can clamp things. This grid table makes it super nice. Um, then we also have these little pressure clamps. So basically you screw that in into one of your holes, you press it, and it, and it just puts a little light pressure on it. All you're trying to do is stop the part from moving. And we talked about it, it doesn't take much to trigger that probe 
you just do not want it to move. And then we've got a little pressure clamp on this one and I can show you how it doesn't move if we, now that we've got that, and of course I don't have it straight. I'm just trying to see if it's gonna move. Put it in mode, put it in measure mode. Let's run into it. Don't make a liar out of me. Again, all you're trying to do is stop it from moving. Now this part right here, that the strap clamp is gonna be a little bit awkward in the way. A lot of times when you've got a little complicated part like that, you may actually want to make a fixture so that maybe you could clamp down here somewhere so you could measure some stuff up here. So don't be surprised if you do get into having to make a fixture for it. Now also, we've got, this makes nice for locating. We'll talk about it when we're doing alignments. But for you to locate quickly parts to do high production uh, inspection. So that's just a quick overview on clamping. Do's and don'ts, I would say, if I could get by without putting a clamp on, I always try to. The only time I have a clamp is if something's so light that it will trigger that probe or if I need to make a fixture for it. Hope this helps you out.